Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planning in my dashboard planner for the week of May 6th through 12th, and the 12th is Mother's Day, so I thought I'd try to use a mixed media mom. I haven't used this in a while, but I like all the fun colors in here and these kind of um, watercolory vibes, so I thought it'd pair well with my When in Spring sticker book, which is still available on my website if you wanted to go check that out, but I think it matches really well with these watercolor elements, and I might add in some of these black lined florals as well. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to need some whiteout most likely. Actually, let's see what long boxes I have. Or you know what? I could use some of these maybe. Actually, let me see how these scenes kind of match with this book. Probably should have pulled some of these stickers out prior. But let's see. I don't have any extra sticker sheets to put these on. So let's see. I'm going to rip this one out. Oh, see, I already have some here. Let me see if I have another, oops, another one that's almost empty. I used to have a whole bunch of them that I could just pull out and use when I needed something like this, but... I like this, but I don't need this appointment part. Mm. Have that shopping. Well, actually, no, I cut off that top. I like this one. I'm just going to use my desk for now. I like this reminder. Happy Mama, Happy Life. I like this one. This would be fun to layer with. You got this, Mama. Today's goal is to keep the tiny humans alive. Ooh, there's a lot of pretty ones in here. Okay. World's Bestest Mom. I'm going to grab this one, too. Some plain boxes. And we have some washi that we could use. Ooh, and some fun bullets. Well, they're more like page flags, but I could use these as headers. Okay, I need to start placing some stuff down. So, let's see. I'm going to place all of these ones that I pulled up here at the top so they don't get stuck accidentally somewhere. Now, let's see. Think that it could work just because I want to use a long box over here I like to use long boxes for my grocery list for the week I do have a long pink one I'm wondering if I just use that instead why don't we just make our own cluster okay before I place those down, I want to go to these watercolors. And I'm going to need some white out. So before I start laying stuff down, I'm just going to white out all of these areas. Oops. Okay. All right, now also while I'm on this video with y'all, I today I actually reached um, 10,000 followers over on Instagram, so I wanted to do a giveaway. Um, I'm d I decided to do it like two separate giveaways, so I'll be doing one on here and one over on Instagram, so you actually have like two chances to win if you want to. Um, what do you call it? Not apply, but enter for both of them. So you have those options. On Instagram, all you have to do is like and share the post and then tag three people. 
And then on here, I'm just going to ask that you comment what your favorite sticker book has been from me so far. And all you have to do is comment once and then you will be entered into win. So I will pick two people who comment and subscribe to my channel over here and then two people from Instagram. So I think that's going to be really fun and exciting. Oh, I didn't explain. You will be winning. So over here, you'll be winning um, the chance for a $50 gift card. So two people will get a $50 gift card to my shop. Hopefully I explained everything pretty well. I've pretty bad at multitasking today. My didn't get much sleep last night. So my mind's pretty everywhere right now. But if you have any questions about it, or if I didn't explain it well, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And I'll be more than happy to try to work it out better in the comments for you. Okay, so I'm just laying some stuff down, trying to spread out where everything is. I don't know. I think I'm wanting this one right here. Right in this corner here. And we can layer off of those. I really want to add one more quote, but I feel like it's going to be like overkill, so I'm going to leave that there for now. And I did have this box, but I feel like I'm going to hold off on that one as well, just because I have a lot of the multicolored elements there right now. So I'm going to grab another one of these watercolor elements. And I'm going to put it over here. And I'm just going to layer it on top of the box. All right, so I have this square. I could put this somewhere. Maybe I'll layer it over here. Okay. I want some watercolor on this side as well. So let's grab one. I think I'm going to put it in this corner. And I want something over here, so let's see. I really like these trees. I think they'll match. So... Normally I don't like doing something right up here, but... Mm. It's not the worst. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm trying to do this during my kids' quiet time, but their timer just went off, so they need to get put to bed. So I'll be right back to finish this off with you. Alright, I'm back. Hopefully there's no more interruptions and I can get this knocked out because it is the end of Monday now and I haven't done any planning in here yet and I already have a grocery list that needs to get put down. So I think I'm going to move this one. Hopefully it lets me pull it up and I'm going to put this one down in this corner and then I'll just lay a box over it. And I'll put this one over here like that. Okay. I like that so far. I feel like it's really pretty with the watercolor elements included. Now I do want to add some of these florals in here. So I'm just going to grab a few to play around with. that's a good start. Since this one has such a big area, I'm going to put this one over here. Oops. I like 
that. That works out well because I had just ripped it. Have that one right there. And let's take some of these like this. Okay, now I need to cut off a few things. Okay, I think that's good. I think it's turning out really cute. So these boxes look kind of lonely and as much as I like that watercolor box I think I want to put just a plain box over here so let's look at the squares I'm gonna grab a blue one and put it right here kind of off-centered so it's not covering up too much of that and then I'm gonna go into mixed media mom grab my tweezers and add in um, some bullet points around I'm just using that for some extra layering now let's find the bullet points All right So I'm going to do some blue, I'm going to do some right here, I guess I could do a box right here. So let me find, I think they have some skinny boxes in here maybe, if not, I could um, grab some from my when in spring sticker book. See, I wish these didn't have any writing in them because they'd be perfect. Where's the boxes? Maybe I was crazy. Oh, here's some, okay. All right, so I'll put a box right here and then bullet points. So okay. add some bullet points in here. I really need to find my better tweezers because these just don't have enough pull to them. I like these with like the little extra design in them. And this is an older sticker book, so the stickers are getting a little bit harder to peel out. Oh, I bent it. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up. Okay. Put that one. And then let's just do some on Saturday, and then we'll look over the page as a whole and see where we can add a few things at. So I feel like this is nice and full. I like how that is looking. I might add some florals over here and maybe some around here. But this looks kind of, I don't know, I feel like it needs something else with it. Um, nothing from here, I don't think. I like this one because it's kind of small, it says create a happy life. But I want to find some headers for over here. So I'm going to take this remember and I'm just going to place it in the middle. I don't normally do that. I kind of off-center it. 
but I want to place remember right there. Oh, and I did pull out reminder. I have this one, but I think it's a little too big and bulky. I don't know how I like that. All right, I didn't use that one yet. And I haven't used this one. Um, I want something at the bottom. Maybe I can just do more watercolor and florals. And I could use one of these instead. But the blue ones, oh here, errands. Let's do don't forget. That's my grocery list. Now don't rip my sticker. So we have don't forget. I need to find a place to put this up at. Um, I kind of like this. Maybe I can add some watercolor with that. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to white out kind of where I think this is going to end up. Okay. Just a little bit more. All right. Let's lay some watercolor down first. And then we'll put this one on top. So I want to kind of go with the lighter colors. Let's see where this is going to be. Alright, that kind of went down on its own. Place that one there in another smaller piece over here. Let's put the purple closer to the pink. Kind of like this. Okay. Let's see how that looks and then we'll add some florals to that. I'll save these pieces. Maybe I can add them somewhere else in the spread. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see where I can add this at. Maybe. Oh, I did want to add some florals over here, so let's just pop this one over here. Like so. And then let's go to the florals and maybe we can add a few more florals over here. And then we can call this spread good. Add a few more, like so. Do a little trim. Okay, and then on this side, I just want to add a, one more little cluster. I don't want all of those stems in there. So. didn't end up using this one or this one so let's put these back okay all right I think it's fun and cute and it has mom vibes in it it's nice and springy still too let me know what you think about this spread down below don't forget to enter in for the giveaway both here and on instagram if you are interested thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos and i hope to see you in the next one bye